Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Project Use It Up update. So, I totally thought I wasn't going to finish anything this month, and then like in the last two days, most of my stuff finished. One thing technically finished on August 1st to be a pest. I'll get into that in a second. So, I did finish off my Skin Iceland face wash. That's done. Uh, if you want reviews, go to my empties, because I talked on and on and on in that. I figure I shouldn't necessarily do it twice. I finished the MAC Zoom Lash. I finished the... holy what? I must have thrown it away. The Jeff Chastain uh, Beach Spray. I finished the Apice Hydrating Mask. I finished the Pantene Shampoo and Conditioner. And I know I threw this away because I thought it wasn't finished until last month, but I also finished the Garnier Moisturizer. I finished that like two days in, so that's not a surprise. And this, I literally finished today and had to, sorry, add something at the very last minute. The Murad Invisiblur Protecting Shield. I didn't realize how high up there I was, but uh, it's done. It's just going in next month's empties. So there's that. And I actually finished like four makeup samples, which is really good for me, sadly. Let's see, I finished the Amazing Cosmetics Line Smoother and Primer, the Kat Von D Locket Featherweight Primer, the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade 2.5, and the Tarte Full Coverage Foundation in Fairlight Neutral. And I'm actually working on something right now. I kind of keep forgetting to use this, but I am working on it. I have like three of these now. But it's the Tarte, not Tarte, I'm literally looking at the name and I said the wrong thing. The NARS Blush in Orgasm. I didn't actually give away some stuff in here this, this past month or so. Like I had three Makeup Forever foundations samples and I realized that the HD foundation does not work for my skin. Because I used a dupe to it and my face ate it. So yeah. I did gain actually two of these Benefit Professionals, but I can use those up super quick. And a Bare Minerals Bare Pro founda uh, Powder Foundation. But yeah, I, it's actually getting like a little bit smaller, which is nice. Now some of that, a lot of the bulk was those Makeup Forever ones, but you know, you gotta take the progress where you can. I did use some this month. I actually also used like a huge chunk of this. I know, I think I forgot to mark this last month because I used so little, but uh, I think if I use up the amount that I used in this month, I can actually finish it. But this is my mouthwash that I hate. Uh, I started there and gone to there. Well, actually I started all the way up here, but last month I was there. This month I'm here. You guys know, I just hate this mouthwash, so I don't use it very much, but apparently last month I sucked it up and I used it a lot, which is good. Maybe if I suck it up again this month, I can actually finish it, because I hate that shit. And the only rollover, other than that mouthwash I have now, is the SK2 Facial Essence. My essence went a lot longer than I thought it would. But uh, this is actually going really quickly, because I've only been using it in like the last four days. So yeah, that'll be done, no problem. So let's see the other crap that I have to put in here. So a friend of mine sent me a kind of, she made me a sample basically of the Lush Kitchen Slammer Shower Gel. So I figured I would use that up this month. I have another mask. This is the Sicily uh, Black Rose Cream Mask. It is starting all the way up at the top. Even this little bitty sample is like $38 because Sicily is hella expensive. I actually put a hand cream in here this month. It's probably going to be in here five months because it's second hand creams, but I needed something. I actually had to do a couple of last minute replacements because like I said, everything finished on the last day. So I wasn't expecting to have to put as much stuff in here as I did. But uh, this is the Toca Julieta hand cream. It is pink tulip and green apple. And I'm starting all the way up there. I got this in a birch box many moons ago and used it like twice so that I can review it and then put it away because I suck. I have my Wet n Wild mascara. I wasn't expecting a mascara this month, but uh, when I used this yesterday, it's crazy dry. <laughs> so I'm just going to get what use I can out of it this month and then call it quits. 
It is the Max Volume Mascara. So don't be surprised if you get Wet n Wild mascaras if they dry out super quick. I'm not surprised. It's a really cheap mascara, but whatever. I actually have a full size in here, but it's almost done. This is the Neutrogena Cleansing Oil to Foam. I love this stuff for removing my eye makeup. My eye makeup. This is a Korean product. I don't know why we don't have it here in the States. It's amazing. But I'm starting right here and there was a little bit of air right there. So I don't think finishing this up this month will be a problem. But when I finish this up and I finish up my other eye makeup removers, I'm probably just gonna buy this. Suck it up and buy it from a Korean website, which I hate doing, but whatever. Now my super last minute replacement, you guys will recognize this if you watched my makeup, my makeup basket for the month. <laughs> but uh, because I needed something at the last minute, I decided to grab this. This is the Lara Geller Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Bronze. This didn't give my hand a rash or anything, so I think it's good to use. I don't know exactly where I am. I have to wait for all the product to settle, but I think I'm about right there. So we shall see. It's not a pore filling primer for once, so I can use it with the L'Oreal one that I've been trying to pan for months and months and months. I grabbed the body lotion too because I'm going by my project use it up six month update of all the stuff I want to use up, like all the minis and stuff. I'm behind on my mini lotions, so I decided to throw one in here. This is the J.R. Watkins Hand and Body Lotion in Lemon Cream. It smells amazing. And we are starting right there. And that's it. I have been using my masks four times a month and doing my nails four times a month. I need to redo them. I actually had to switch to the charcoal mask from the Queen Helene mask because I finished the charcoal. I finished the Queen Helene mask, so. I am moving in my charcoal mask, my Dollar Tree charcoal mask from 100 Colorful Empties. So just a little note on that. Then that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.